guys so your girl is up and ready for the day okay it's such a beautiful day outside like I'm loving it I got a lot of work to do like I have a whole to-do list of just tasks and things I have to take care of so in this vlog I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes of my work from home and what all of that entails I'm gonna share some of my tips yeah we gotta work first and then play later and then later I'm going out with my homegirls. So we'll get into that later. But let me um, go down my to-do list for y'all. First things first, I had on here, pray. That's done. Girl, this morning's prayer, journal, devotional was so good. And that's one thing I want to keep consistent with my days every single day. Like we're going to start and end it that way. Okay. Then I have take your vitamins slash greens and um, supplements, which we're going to do that. I'm going to make a power smoothie i'm gonna call it my power smoothie and i'm gonna show y'all what i put in it in a little bit um i gotta write an invoice for a brand i worked with i have to post for a brand on my instagram today then i have to make sure i check my email and email other brands i need to edit today's vlogmas that i'm posting which is the one you watched yesterday and i need to package orders for tasha's lex boutique and taffy this could take me the rest of the day but i want to get everything done by like four five o'clock it is 12.45. But let me start with the smoothie before we get into work. Let's do it. So I'm gonna make a smoothie high in protein today, okay? Your girl is back in the gym. She getting her body right, her body tea. Okay. <laughs> protein powder, collagen, blooms, L-glutamine. I might still put some oats in this. Yeah, I'm gonna do the oats though. So for fruits, I have, um, my frozen mango, got these from Aldi yesterday, and a banana. I think I want to add some berries in it too. now so welcome to my office y'all are very familiar with this place but you know surprisingly i don't spend as much time in here as you would think like even with editing or responding to the email like admin work i have to do behind the scenes girl i either work from the kitchen like i'll sit at the bar top or the couch um i feel like when i'm in the office it feels like i'm clocking in and I'm just more motivated to get work done, if that makes sense, okay? The first thing I want to take care of are like shipment of orders. So I have one order from Tafe, which is a pair of scrubs we have to package. And then I have 
I think four or five orders from Tasha's List Boutique, which is my cosmetic line. So y'all have been buying out those bonnets, girl. So for this Taffy order, our lovely customer here ordered a set of the Burgundy V-neck, a small top and extra small, no, extra small top and small pants. So the first time I do is double check I got the right sizes. Then I'm gonna add my tags to the items. Then I'm just gonna place that in my package here. And I always like to make sure I add a thank you card and a business card to my package. Okay, so this is the order summary. And that is it, y'all. That is how I package an order. Just for my friends, because I do get asked um, quite often about like my business cards, thank you cards, where I get those from, like just stuff that I customize for my business. I make my own business card, y'all. Whatever business that you need graphics for, you need to do promotion for, you need to post content for, get on Canva, front and back of my thank you cards made them myself and there's a website that you just go and print it off uh what is that website called oh my god i ordered there way too much to be forgetting that the name of it i'll put it on the screen but once you have your graphic done it's as simple as going to that site and just um printing them off like you can order a pack of 100 a pack of 500 Thank you cards, business cards, whatever it is. I also make my own business cards on Canva. Um, I make the ones for Tasha's Let's Boutique on Canva. You know, I, the design that is, but I printed them all on that same site. Even writing my ebook, I wrote my ebook on Canva, okay? Like they have ebook templates. Yeah, don't say I didn't put y'all on, okay? Y'all know I'm not the gatekeeping type of girl. I'm gonna put y'all on. I mean, some things I'm going to keep to myself, but I'm going to put y'all on because it's about to be a new year. And like writing my ebook was so big for me, right? Because I've been wanting to do this for so long, but I've just always been intimidated by the process. It just seemed hard. Like, how do you write an ebook? What do you even do? And my friends pushed me. Like a lot of my friends, most of my friends have ebooks out, girl. They be entrepreneurship girlies, okay? Also surround yourself with people that you can get inspired from. I think that's very important people in your circle to have people that you can look at and be like dang okay if, if if she can do it i can do it too and they can not only inspire you they can they can also put you in a position where like you can win it too i'm that type of friend if i'm eating good trust me you're gonna eat good and if i'm winning like i'm the type of friend that'll share share the tips and tricks with you like it's money out here for all of us but um i say all this to say i was really um I was really uh, intimidated by the process. A lot of times we talk ourselves out of doing certain things. We get in our own heads. We get intimidated by it. And that's because we limit ourselves in what we can do. So, no, my friends were pushing me. They are like, no, Taja, it's so easy. Like, get on Canva, look up an ebook template, like, and customize it. Add your own pictures. Add your own stuff. Like, do it. It's so easy, girl. If you got a computer, you got the app, like, that's all you got to do. Then just save it and upload it to your site. Like, it's so easy. And one day I was like, you know what? Why not? And, y'all, I started that ebook and finished it in two days. Y'all saw, I didn't go to sleep at night. Like, I was up at 3, 4 a.m. working on that ebook. I was just so passionate. And then, for me, it was so easy because I'm like, wait, that's all it took. But, like... It is a lot of work, but I feel like when you're passionate about something, it don't seem like work. But looking back at it, I'm just like, I really try to talk myself out of starting this ebook. And I'm glad that my friends pushed me to do it. Sometimes we can be our worst enemies and get in our own heads, but don't talk yourself out of it, girl. Just research, okay? Okay, so next I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight orders for Tasha's Lux Boutique.
Alrighty, babes, we are going to head downstairs real quick to the post. <laughs> I was gonna say to the post office to concierge and drop off our packages, and that's something I'm very grateful for. And I didn't know that until like two months ago. Like I was always going to the post office, dropping off all my stuff, which I still do because sometimes I have large orders, or if I have a lot of orders, I just prefer to go drop them off myself or expedited orders but when it's just like a few like this girl just get in the elevator go downstairs drop my package and it's just saves me so much time because it probably would have took me 30 40 minutes to make it to the post office and back in atlanta traffic so i'm just gonna go downstairs to drop these off and then we'll be back up here because <sighs> we got a lot more work to do but <laughs> i'll be back i'll be back okay back like i never left so next thing i need to do is email an invoice to a brand that i just wrapped up a sponsorship with so let's talk invoice right i don't think that's something that is talked about enough like how do you get paid from brands when does the money come <laughs> okay i already have an invoice i did here for another brand so i'm actually gonna keep i like to just keep the same format and i replace it with the brand's name and information an invoice is very simple it is just the invoice include your information, the brand information, and most of the time when you work with a brand, they're going to tell you what to put in the invoice. Um, then make sure you put your bank name, your bank information, how you want to get paid. Put details on the sponsorship that was done. What was it? Was it an Instagram ad? Was it a TikTok ad? Was it three IG stories, two videos, one YouTube, whatever it was. Describe what you did and how much that you need to get paid. Unless it's a hair company most brands are going to be on a 30 to 45 net pay is what they call it so that means you don't get paid until 30 to 45 days some of them are 60 days um now i feel like the only companies i've worked with that paid me right away or actually even before i posted the video are hair brands hair brands that's why i love them to death one thing about it you're gonna see a hair review here and there on my page because they are really the easiest brands to work with. You, Every company is different, obviously. And, I mean, they are based, most hair companies are based in China. So, that's a, their um, method. You know, that's their payment method. Now, every other brand I've worked with, you got to type that invoice, email it. And from the day you email that, probably 30 days after is when you'll get paid. So, it's not right away. Okay? It's nothing overnight. It's nothing right away. So also that means you got to stay on top of your invoices too. Because if you're not sending those invoices, you're not getting paid. And some brands won't even remind you. <laughs> I had a brand I just forgot about, man. It was a busy season for me. I was working with a few brands and I completely forgot to send an invoice. It didn't catch up to me until like three months later. I'm like, you never got paid from so-and-so. And when I went to my email... So-and-so did not care, okay? I mean, it's not that they didn't care, but they weren't like, Hey, Taja, I don't know if you know, but you never sent your invoice, okay? So I had to run it back and um, follow up with it. So I'm going to finish this. Then we're going to make some lunch and get to editing today's vlog, okay? Let me finish this invoice. I'll be right back. Okay, let's make some lunch. Your girl is hungry, um, but... I'm done with everything I had to do task-wise, like packages, email, invoices, posting for a brand. The last thing I have left is to edit today's vlogmas. And I wanted to leave that last because that's the lengthy process. So that'll be the last thing I do before, um, you know, I get ready for dinner tonight. I'm going to make a salmon Caesar salad. So I was telling you guys that in yesterday's vlogmas, when my friend Ashley came in town, she made this fire Caesar salad, y'all. And it was so simple, like simple ingredients. She got everything from Aldi. So I got all the ingredients for that, and I'm going to top mine up with some salmon. So let's get to it, y'all. Doesn't make sense now. Shit just got real, things are getting intense now. I hear you talking about we a lot, or you speak French now. So I gotta take a hit now I hate 
picture look like? Who you wanna hang right now? On the east side, ain't no one with the thing right now. You say, do I own a watch? Do I know what time it is right now? It's after 2 a.m. and that's asking a lot of you. All she talking about is come and see me for us, come and see me for us. You don't ever come to me, you don't ever come to me. All she ever said is come and see me for us, come and see me for us. You don't ever come to me, you don't ever come to me. I'm just so excited because everything smells so good. Let's try the salmon. That's the best part right here. This is how I like my salmon. Okay. I like my salmon crispy on the outside, crispy skin. And the inside, perfectly cooked. 10 out of 10, y'all. So, so my next two to three hours are going to consist of editing. That's a big part of my work from home. Editing. If you are a YouTuber, then you know the headache. That's really like what's gonna make you sit down for hours. Editing can take anything between four to five, six hours to a day. But Vlogmas season, the vlogs are shorter. So I got two and a half hours before I have to get ready. So we gonna make that work. And I'll see you guys once I'm done with that. Hey girl, hey. It's been about, okay, since we last spoke realistically, it's been about three and a half hours. And that's how long it took me to edit my vlog. Girl, when I tell you I was sitting down on that computer like, <laughs> how did you manage me saying in that music? I was really hustling. And that's the reality of vlogmas, man. Um, just a lot of editing and you're filming your life 24-7. I just, I don't know. I love it. What I love with Vlogmas though is just how I feel like I really can be very casual with my vlogs. My content and other creators included is like you really feel like you are a part of their day to day. Like it's a real life, it's a real style vlog. I feel like my bond with you guys is growing. Y'all are seeing me in more vulnerable moments during Vlogmas because I'm really vlogging more of my life and getting more in depth so i'm going out for dinner with robin i haven't caught up with her in a minute she just moved um she's recently got a new job so it's just been a lot of new things happening and i want to be more intentional with my relationships with people in general y'all my family, my friends, but unintentionally, I've just been so busy and everybody's just had their stuff going on. And I just wanna take a minute, slow down and just be like, hey, how's everybody doing? Let's talk, let's kiki. Um, you know, even if it's something chill, something quick, I wanna catch up with her. So we're going to go to the vault. I believe that's the plan for tonight. Now, hopefully they're not closed or don't have a wait. Because we don't have reservations, we're just going to show up. But they're having a Christmas pop-up shop. Not pop-up shop. They're having a Christmas pop-up bar and restaurant menu. So I've been seeing it on Instagram, TikTok, and all the above. So I wanted to go try it out. Okay. I know y'all want to get into an outfit of the day. Um, only thing new, girl, is this top. I got it when I went to Edge and um, Charlotte, if you guys remember, my Charlotte trip, went to Edge with my girl Michaela. Um, that's where I got this from. It's cute and I love it. It's not too much. Paired it up with my Chanel brooch. Um, bag is my Prada bag. Um, and then I just have some cargo pants from Zara. Okay, and then for shoes, these are gonna be the heels. These are like my faves right now, okay? Where are these from? Oh, this is from Akira. 
this is from akira girl i don't know why i was thinking steve madden this is from akira so i'm gonna see if i can find a link for y'all i know they don't look comfy but these are the most comfortable faux leather boots i've ever worn all right i'm gonna snap a couple of pics in the bathroom and then i'm heading out you guys so i will see y'all let me get my camera. Hey, hey, girl. Hey. You guys notice how we're matching? Yeah, we are. White, black, and white. Black and white. Black and white. Yeah. Okay, wait. Why how tall are you, clothes? Robin? I am 5'4. <laughs> Real short. You are shorty next <laughs> to me, shy. girl. It's because you got heels on. These are not even that tall. Look. But yeah. they're comfortable, though. We pulled up to the bank, y'all. We pulled up to the bank. <laughs> so cute. See, I'm losing all my focus. If you choosing, I'm my chosen. Cruising in this cold bins. So I'm picking up your friends. Give me dirty looks, cause they know a lot. A hundred with she, yeah, they know I'm not. Give her 25, not a whole, whole lot. Yeah. Thing. I thank God. What do you rate this place? One out of ten. Um, I would give it a nine. Me too. Solid nine. A solid nine. A solid nine. I was gonna say ten. A solid nine. The the and I, I don't know why I thought their food wasn't that good. It's like I don't know. When they first opened, they had mixed reviews. I feel like, but I never I came here. Blast this heat on, right? Chad. It's, oh, mm -hmm. And the seat warmers, Chad. Look at that sign. I don't know. Whoever named this and came up with this is like the whole wild. concept. I think they have a fetish of like robbing a bank because, like, yeah, even <laughs> the, how the inside got like, a, whole, a bowl. whole bowl in there. Um, the limb chops were good, the food was great. Now I'm about to go drop Rob it off. We some grandmas, honey. We just come out to eat. <laughs> right. We're gonna go right back home. I'm trying to debate if it's I should leave. That perfect love, anyway. Need a glass of water. The way this fool got us feeling. <laughs> you ever had a food coma? Just the itis, girl, pure itis. Um, but it was so good. I highly recommend this place. It's called The Vault. Really good food, good vibe. I love how it's decorated for Christmas and their holiday drinks. Customer service was great. We had to wait like five minutes for a table. Um, and the prices was good. So at the end of it, you know, like the check comes and we're like, yeah, we're just gonna split the check like down the middle. And she's like, okay, so it's going to be 155. And girl, I'm getting my car ready because I'm thinking it's 155 for me, 155 for Robin. She's like, so 155, so that'll be like 70 something each. I'm like, that's it. I'm so used to like overpriced Atlanta restaurants. Just I'm just so used to paying at least one to two hundred dollars for me only, and that's just only having a drink, appetizer, and an entree. That's it, and the food don't even be all that. So 
I'll definitely be going back. But yeah. I'm glad I don't have nothing else to do but just go to sleep, y'all. I'm beat. I'm tired. This was the most productive day I've had in a long time. But yeah, I love you guys. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoy. And if so, please, please give this video a thumbs up. And uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed it. And leave us a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I love y'all. And I'll see y'all tomorrow.